Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to show you a quick trick that we also posted on Laravel Daily.com as an article and I will link that in the description below. So basically this is the screenshot. What if you have a table with filters and also some stat widgets above the table, which is pretty typical for dashboards or actually for any table, and then you want the widgets to also show the numbers with the filters. By default, they don't do that. Luckily, in Filament 3, they made it extremely simple. So this is my demo project list of orders with the filter. So in the filter, let's change some date, for example, to this one. And then the table is refreshed. I have some indicators here. And also these numbers are changed in the live mode. So how to do that? First things first, we need to define the filter to the table and that stat widget. In the docs, you can see that all described in table filter section, and I will link that in the description below. You may add more fields here, columns, filter, and then indicators. In my code of order resource, it's pretty simple. In the table, filter with two columns, then query that is changed under those columns, and then you may or may not want to use indicators with some custom logic. So this is one part. The second part is the stat widget, which you can generate according to this docs page, another page, so filament widget, one of the widget is stat. So with this command, you generate something like this. There is a widget with get stats, and the difference here is in the docs here, the example provides real static numbers or text. In our case, we will have a query, but not just a query to the database, query using page table query. This is where it all comes together. That's that widget needs to use two things. First, get table page, providing the list page of your resource, and then get page table query with additionally conditions if you want. So this is the main query like list of orders, and then you may add more things and put the count here. So this is how you assign your stat widget, but then in that list orders page, also a few things need to happen. You register that widget on top, typically, and also the main thing, the main one-liner or one trait. In that list page, you need to have exposes table to widgets. So this part is what actually makes that live refresh after you filter something. It exposes the table to widgets, which means widgets are auto-refreshed with their numbers as well. So this is the tutorial just in the video format. I will link the original tutorial in the description below as well. And generally on Laravel Daily.com, we have quite a lot of articles about filament, including, for example, course on filament three. If you haven't really started step by step, you can start from scratch in our course and also in our premium tutorials. Some of them are about filament, like this one, for example, about filters, about edit profile page, and also some live wire under the hood. So subscribe to Laravel Daily Premium membership to get all of that. And also you will support this channel by doing that. And see you guys in other videos.